I met Melvin Warren, really just, I pursued him. You know, Melvin, I, I'd studied with a lot of the CAs, mo and most any with only one that would teach, but Melvin really wasn't so much a teacher. He was pretty shy and he stuttered some, you know, and actually when you, when you went to talk to Melvin, you really just, it all got translated through Lucille, really, you know. But Melvin was an influence on the entire Western uh, art world. I mean, his, his, uh, uh, his color schemes, uh, his values, he, his, uh, his work influenced everyone, impacted us all. I think Melvin took cowboy art to another level. He, his earlier work was, he was painting kind of like everybody else was. He was painting little buildings and little cowboys and little things going on and whatever. And I don't remember the actual time, time period, 70s, late 70s, something like that. But he moved in closer. He started doing these two or three figures with an old house or two or three figures with a big live oak tree, the Night Riders comes to mind. He had a great eye, was able to put that, that wonderful composition together and paint realistically, but in an impressionist mode. Melvin Warren was a huge influence on me, actually. Jim was my mentor more so, but I was exposed to a lot of Mel's work because he had it framed at Joanne Spieler's gallery here in town. Joanne actually would call me from time to time when she got one of Mel's pieces in, and so I could come in and take a look at it. I was in Melvin's studio a couple of times uh, while he was still living, but not very often, not like I was with Jim. But my goodness, Melvin's uh, ability to paint with oil paints was just amazing. He had a wonderful ability with edges, of losing edges where edges needed to be lost, of finding those edges in the proper places to make things really pop out of those paintings. His colorations, especially his, his what I would call his gray palette, was really, really exciting for me. He would enter, he would have this painting that was, if you looked at the whole painting, you'd think, it, well, you know, there's not a lot of color in that. <laughs> but he had the ability of, of having it appear that way because it was combinations of colors that visually would become more of a gray. He was so great at doing uh, twilight scenes. And of course, Frank Tenney Johnson was a very famous illustrator, Western painter of twilight scenes, and everyone still loves his work. But Melvin's were just as good. They were absolutely gorgeous. He got the most beautiful turquoise in the skies. And he did a lot of those with adobe buildings, maybe with the lights on in them. And he was just so great at creating a beautiful atmosphere. Of course, he loved to paint longhorns. He painted a lot of them. And he and Lucille owned a longhorn. I forget what his name was. I bet my mother would know what it was. Commander. Mm -hmm. Commander was his name. And sometimes you'd drive down the highway and you could see Commander out there in the field. Okay. And Oh, okay. My mom is saying that LBJ gave Commander to Melvin. So um, they treasured that because they treasured LBJ's friendship. He was just such a rock steady presence in the cowboy artist for so many years and on the whole Western art scene and especially in Texas. He sold his work um, in Austin and uh, he, you know, he influenced so many people probably in a lot of subtle ways through his choice of subjects but also through his color schemes. One of the things I learned artistically from Mel Warren was to keep it simple. Make sure you bear down on the main, the main part of the painting and don't, don't try to show everything. Don't show every cow and every horn on the cow and every weed in the field. Just keep it simple. That was his main influence to me is because he, he knew how to get down to the main deal and stay with it. That's not just Mel Warren, that's, that's true of all art. Since I was acquainted with what he was doing and he influenced my work, that, that really brought it home to me. And I'd, I'd learned all that stuff in Art Center, but it's one thing to hear it from a teacher and experiment with it a little bit. It's another thing to work on it every day, you know, all day and keep thinking. Just keep it to this one thing.